This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Oh, my God, Terry Funk. Did you go take a shit in the middle of the show? Yeah. How's the situation? Well, you okay. Take a shit before we start. Here's the thing, Tony. Mm-hmm. Wasn't up to me. <laughs> I get it. What do you want me to do? D. Low Brown. Can you believe this is a real thing that's about to happen right now? Oh, uh, yeah. After what I've seen already in this show. Terry Funk I- and D. Low Brown is not something I would have predicted. <laughs> Did you ever, uh, do you know the Godfather? Yeah. Yeah. He seems like a cool motherfucker, buddy. He is. He's Dawkins' best friend. Really? Yeah. I mean, Bear don't know that, but Dawkins would probably very easily refer to him as my best friend. So Mm. the chest protector became a gimmick eight days prior. And now it's going to be Delo's gimmick from here on out, as you saw Mm. at the King of the Ring. Okay, how, as how I time, saw the King of the Ring. How timeless is Terry Funk? Uh-uh, he can do anything, man. Any version of Terry Funk works. Every version of Terry Funk works. Mm-hmm. Look at that. His old leg, single leg pickup, take down. I love d He's so underrated. You can tell he's very athletic, man. I mean, he's like 285 or something. Yeah. And jacked. Uh, What what did the... Come over here. He's calling him back over, trying to call spots. Bring you back over. Stop posing. Come on, buddy. So Terry just goes to him (laughs) from the corner. Trying to fight (laughs) up. Fight from underneath. Or as you like to say, I like to work from underneath when you're with the ladies. Mm, Boy. So what's the, the chest protector? What, how did that, uh, so you just saw him when when he, they explained it when he was getting in the ring. Okay. Eight days prior, Mm -hmm. he did a run in at King of the ring, pulled a baseball Jersey off and underneath he had on like a catcher's chest protector, like a baseball catcher's chest protector. Yeah. And he did a frog splash off the top rope onto somebody with the chest protector. And it was devastating. So he had this chest protector made and it's probably a way just to help, uh, sort of improve his overall presentation, his look, cause he, he's not exactly an Adonis. Right. So this way, maybe you won't see that he's a little softer up front than he'd like to be. And he replaces it with something that he sort of hidden the negative, accentuated the positive. Not bad. Not a bad move. Probably not the easiest thing to work in, but not a bad move. Well, it's better than, you know, Vince not liking your look and then you not getting to work. Exactly. Here we go. Check him out. What is he doing? Is he crazy? Uh, Acai moonsault. No. But no way. Yes. Yes. No. No. Oh, oh, leg. Terry Funk <laughs> on a tape draw from State College, Pennsylvania, in a middle of the card match against D'Lo Brown, did an Acai moonsault. To the floor, onto a guardrail. In 1998, here it is again. Oh, and he had knees that were shot by then anyway, and he just ripped them on top of the guardrail. How, ridi- how ridiculously awesome! Look at this. Here we go, another one. <laughs> What's he gonna do now? He's got D'Lo. On Delo's stomach and a moonsault to the lower back. There's no protection there. Funk is crazy. Funk is crazy as right. Cornette had a story once where they were in Smoky Mountain, and instead of Terry climbing the ropes the normal way, he climbs it like he's about to do a moonsault. So he's got his back to the ring. And he says, Oh, look, here comes Godfather. Wham! Nails Terry Funk with the chain. Anyway, oh, here comes the big splash. If I, D-Lo can't, he can't reach him with this. Oh, whoa. Hey, that was a long ass way for a big boy to jump, and he nailed it, didn't he? 
Sure was, buddy. Big old frog splash from way on out. Anyway, famously, as Terry Funk is climbing the top rope, where it looks like he's he's got his back to the ring, Corny's on, Corny's on the outside. He runs around and supposedly says, Terry, 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 what are you doing? And supposedly, he looked down at Corny and says, I don't know. <laughs> and fucking pulled out a moonsault. But the idea that there's this old man on the top rope and you're nervous <laughs> for him, like, this guy's all about to be my dad. I better check on him. <laughs> hey, 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 what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds about right. Not Ugh. one, but two big choke slams from The Undertaker here on The Nation. Godfather up first, D'Lo second. Hmm. Oh, Terry. Of course, Terry thinks, Terry. oh, he's here to save me. I don't know hey, if this is going to go his Terry. way. No, it's not. Everybody knew this. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you for saving me. You're a good old big old guy. I thought you were dead. Oh. Can you imagine mm -hmm. the mutual respect right there? Yeah. Look, look how he put him down. Yeah. Yeah. Took care of him that time. It's important to remember he's been in the company less than eight years at this point, Undertaker, but he's already the locker room leader. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.